Hi everybody, welcome back to Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my thought of the day and uh, what a contrasting couple of days it has been for Newcastle United captains. Yes, not, not very good for one of them uh, and uh, very, very good uh, for the other one. Uh, why have we got two captains? If you're not a Newcastle fan watching this, if there's any more scousers hanging around lurking in our comments, giving us abuse uh, for, for Liverpool win the game. I can't wait till you play somebody else. God, you're doing my fucking nutting. Uh, but no, I'm talking about our captain, fantastic, our captain on the pitch, our ever-present uh, Kieran Trippi, who was fantastic against Liverpool as well, by the way. One of the players who can probably hold his head up high, uh, despite the disappointing Result. So what's happened with Kieran Trippier? You know, thankfully, it's all positive and all good news. Kieran Trippier has been rewarded for his unbelievable season that he had last season. And he has been announced in the PFA Player of the Year starting 11, as you can see there. And he is with some unbelievable company as well. You can see it's predominantly dominated by Manchester City and Arsenal really um, in terms of the, the two seasons that they had, respectively, uh, Man City winning, you know, the quadruple, but there's the treble, I beg your pardon. Uh, and then obviously Arsenal running close for for the league uh, and then winning the, uh, winning the um, you know, the kind of second place runners up, I suppose, if you will. Uh, and they're looking to go again this season. But it was only Harry Kane and Kieran Trippier who broke into this 11 uh, from outside of those two sides. You know, massive credit to both. Obviously, Kane's off. Uh, you know, when laden hosen and, and drinking lager now, but for, for Trippier to get into that 11 is, is a monumental achievement for Kieran. And uh, he's, he's had an absolutely fantastic season, to be honest with you. And he, I'm so proud that, that he plays for our football club. He's an absolute sensational player. He's, he's arguably one of the best players uh, we've ever had playing for the football club, not just for his ability on the pitch, but his leadership and, and everything else that he, that he represents. And, and he only cost 12 million quid. And apparently he only came in for the money. Yeah, that's right. Sure he did. But if you're not a Newcastle fan and you're wondering why on earth Kieran Trippier got into the PFA Players of the Year uh, starting 11, let me just show you this and explain why. So this is what Kieran Trippier had um, to, to, you know, in his, in his uh, CV, so to speak, from last season. So 38 appearances, ever present really for us. Unbelievable that. You know, he had his, his injury spell when he first came, but thankfully in touch wood, that seems to be behind him. So 38 appearances, 71 tackles, 43 interceptions, 75 clearances, eight block shots, 264 recoveries, 393 crosses, uh, with a cross accuracy of only 34%. But my God, he puts crosses in. He created 24 big chances, seven assists and one goal. And he was only bested in assists by the one and only Kevin De Bruyne, who got into that lineup as well. But what a player, what an unbelievable talent Kieran Trippier is for Newcastle United. And my only, my only um, drawback about this whole thing is that he's 32 going on 33. I wish he was 27 because we'd have another five or six years of, of Kieran Trippier to, to enjoy. But he's he's at the pinnacle of his career. I really, I really believe when he went over to Spain, he'd become a better player. And then Newcastle are reaping the benefits of that. I think he's an absolutely sensational footballer. He very seldom looks phased. Doesn't matter who he's up against. Could be a kid, you know, 10 year, 15 year younger than him with rapid pace in the shape of a Saka or something like that. Somebody with tricks for days in the shape of a Grealish and, and Trippier just does not look phased. His positional sense is, is brilliant. Uh, his ability on the ball, his world class his ability on the ball really is. His defensive capabilities, his leadership, he's constantly screaming at his back four. And then when you hear him talk as well in front of the camera, he's just he just oozes leadership and you know he's magnanimous, he's gracious, he's articulate, he's everything you possibly want, and he just inspires you as as a fan, let alone as a teammate. You know, so I'm sure you know when he's talking to the lads in that huddle before the game, when he's talking to players in the dressing room, we've seen the signings as well. He, he's always there. You know, Lewis Hall he recently signed. He's coming in. He's talking to him. He's asking if he's settled. Do you need anything? We saw what it was like with Sandro Tonali. He's just absolutely. Unbelievable, and, and for twelve million quid, he's got to go down. Arguably, I think is is one of the best signings that this football club has ever made. He's the face of the takeover in terms of the first proper sign that came through the door, and uh, he's a legend already uh, in my eyes. And I think a lot of Newcastle United fans' eyes. And, and when he does decide to, to call his time as Newcastle career, I think he will he will get into many people's Newcastle all time eleven. So let us know what you guys think about Kieran Trippier getting into the PFA. Uh, 11 what an achievement that is for him uh, you know we always like to hear from you guys and we'll always do our best to reply to any comments that, that you smash in 
And if this is the kind of thing you like, please click subscribe. Come and join us. We're over 5,000 subs. Loads of room for you here. We've got one live show every Monday, 10, 10 p.m. Uh, with me and Mark. And we've got proper videos just like the one you've watched. So loads of Newcastle content. You won't regret it. Smash the button. Hit a like. Help the channel grow. Well done, Trips. And uh, let's hope he gets back in again this season after having another phenomenal season. We'll catch you later, everybody. Cheers. Bye.